What's up guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3 Cola <laughs> Now some of you may be wondering, Santi, why are you not concluding the thrilling adventure you are currently on where you're chasing the ghost of Vlogmas around? Well the answer is that uh, I ran out of time to do the third episode today, so that'll probably come out at some point. In fact, probably Christmas. You know what? It's gonna come out on Christmas. It'll, the thrilling conclusion to the Vlogmas trilogy will come out on Christmas, but for now, you're just gonna get another vlog. And today's vlog is very special because it's marking one of the very first times that I do a tag video. Hey man, Vlogmas, it's like 20 something videos, okay? They're not all gonna be original ideas. So today, I will be doing the small YouTuber tag, which if you don't know what that is, it's a series of questions uh, related to being a small YouTuber and what it's like to be a small YouTuber. And uh, nobody tagged me in it, I tagged myself. And took these questions from a website, which I'll link in the description down below. And uh, let's get started! Question number one. What inspired you to start making YouTube videos? Uh, I was inspired to start making YouTube videos because around 2000... Uh, oh, jeez, when was it? <laughs> 2011? 2012-ish? When I was 13, 13, 14 years old, um, I got my first Android phone. It was one of the first ones that, that came out. Um, when Android was first starting to become a thing and it had a camera on it and I had been watching some YouTube some of the early days YouTubers like the Vlog Brothers and Wheezy Waiter and guys like that and I was like I want to do that that looks super cool so I just started like um, yeah I just I just started making videos uh, my first few videos I made uh, sort of vlog type videos because that's who I was watching at the time and you can see sort of my uh, way of making videos progresses as it goes on and I become clearly more influenced by certain people. <laughs> Question number two. How long have you been on YouTube and have you ever had other channels? Okay, the first one's easy. I just answered it. I have been on YouTube since about 2011 or 2012 actually is when I started my channel. And the answer is yes, I have had many, many other channels. <laughs> I have had this channel. I had a channel when I was quite young called Brambleclaw456 because I was really into those Warriors books uh, about the talking cats. <laughs> uh, and then I also had, at one point, I had a second channel, which I dedicated to vlogging. Um, I had a gaming channel at one point. I had a remix channel when I thought I was going to be a DJ. I had a channel on which I collaborated with two of my friends, and it was called Those Three Crazy Kids. That didn't take off necessarily. And then I also had a channel with another friend, which also didn't take off because we never put any videos on it. Question three. Where do you see yourself and your YouTube channel in five years? Hopefully still doing this. Um, hopefully I'll be graduated from college. I'll still have a channel, still be posting videos, hopefully with a bigger audience. But yeah, I see myself as uh, maybe getting a job in film or whatever it is that I don't want to do. And moving forward, not being in crippling student debt, hopefully. <laughs> Question number four. What message are you trying to get across in your videos? Um, I'm trying to get across a, a message that uh, was communicated to me through the YouTubers I sort of liked to watch when I was younger, which is that you can do whatever it is you want and you should do whatever it is you want and it should matter more to you that you do what you love than uh, what what is profitable. What I'm trying to get across is just, just do whatever you want, man. As long as it makes you happy, that's cool. Question five, do people from school find your channel? I'm sure they find it stupid. <laughs> no, uh, people from school do know my channel and they have watched my channel. And in fact, a large portion of my audience is people that I met at school, um, in high school and in college. Question six, what does your username mean? Well, my current username is just my name. So, but my username before that was Afroman7896. And that was because I had an afro at the time, and I hit a bunch of numbers because that was already taken. So, there's no real, it's not that interesting. <laughs> and finally, question number seven, who are your favorite small YouTubers? Okay, so currently my favorite small YouTubers are a couple people. I really enjoy the channel Red Inked Wolf, who is somebody that I know personally. They make uh, sort of speed drawings and art videos, watch them, they're fantastic. I also really enjoy Rosiana. Rosiana Halsey Rojas, I hope I'm saying your name right. She's really great, I uh, make sort of vlog type videos and stuff, sort of like the Vlog Brothers. I know that they're related in some way, I just don't remember what it is. I really enjoy uh, videos by a guy called Raw Callings. He makes uh, sort of animations based on the podcast The Weekly Planet. 
It's very niche, but it's very good, and he's great. He's really funny. And then I also really enjoy The Good Stuff, which is a small-ish channel. It's pretty big now. It's about 100,000 subs. But they're uh, run by one of my favorite creators on this site, Mr. Wheezy Waiter himself. So check that out. Check all those out. They'll all be in the description. Anyway, uh, I think that's where this comes to an end. Sorry this probably wasn't very funny, but hopefully it was informative. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow with a new Vlogmas video. Okay, bye. Bye. Peace, bye. Blah, 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 blah. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing down below. Give me a like if you liked the video. Uh, go ahead and check out my last Vlogmas video. I'll leave it right up there. And check out one of my other videos that I've made lately. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!